Hello and welcome back to Super Brothers. It's been a while since I played and I forgot how much it flickers in the actual game. And it turns out it does flicker occasionally in the video as well, but it's only a one frame flicker, so for the most part I can actually notice that while I'm editing and then it's a simple just copying the next frame onto the previous frame so it works fine and I can do that very easily. The problem is, I oh man, my voice, I might not always uh, be able to notice, so if there's a flicker that's left in the game that isn't just this, apparently this black thing sometimes just flickers white for no reason, but if that happens I can't really do anything about it, and if there are any other flickers I just miss them and we'll all have to just deal with it, which is a shame, but still beats having like 30 FPS. I uh, I tried running the game with the story now that VSync is off, but the story even when VSync is off, it just doesn't want to record this game. It drops to like 30 FPS every time. I don't even know. So OBS it is, flickering it is, unfortunately. And yeah, you might be able to hear. I'm not sure. I feel like I'm getting a cold or something. So I got some tea. Might have a couple drink breaks every now and then. But let's just get into it. So. We talked to this guy already, didn't we? I think so. Let's talk to him again, just in case. Yeah. Megatome. Thought transmissions, and just look what's on his mind. I've already done that, but what did it say again? Yes? That takes a long time to do that. Yeah. Okay. Great. All right. Yeah, sure. That's 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 all. So now I want to try something before we do anything else. So apparently Oh damn. There are no bunnies out. Now that the the rain is coming down, I guess. But I think how you kill them might be doing this thing. Like that, and then you hold on them. Maybe. Maybe? I mean, we'll see, I guess. Let's just awaken the Sylvan Sprites to begin with, so here we go. So, yeah, you can use WAS and D to move the, ma the, the view around the camera when you're doing this, because you can't drag, you can only draw. But you can drag if you do that, but you can only drag so far. So yeah, you can actually use the uh, W, A, S, and D keys to move around and check for everything, which is kind of cool, kind of neat, kind of handy. So, let's awaken this guy. Oh. That's not how you do it. Do I have to get these... Yeah, I figured. Get these birds. Or just click them? Yeah. Just click them. I see. Okay. Hi. And up you go. We just woke a slumbering sylvan sprite from a curious nest box, surrounded by three rain-soaked songbirds. We did! Hi, girl! It's girl! Come back here, girl! Oh, can I check her, uh, her thoughts? Probably. Yeah, new thoughts for girl. And I've gone even further down this road. And yeah, you can see, it was three days ago I played this game. So, six days. You can keep track of my recording schedule, I guess. Okay. Uh... Did I read... No! Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is like grayed out, so that's kind of cool. Okay. Very nicely done. You've learned the Song of Sorcery. And now the unfathomable power of the Megatome is yours. Why does she quote that? That was the other guy, the, the archetype who said that. The Megatome intercepts linguistic thought transmissions, and it contains everything you'll need to complete your woeful errand. Why is she quoting all of his thoughts instead? I'm thinking about something right this moment. Why not open the Megatome and look for me to find out what's on my mind? Look for a white triangle in the top right. Tap it, and then equip the Megatome to reveal what is hidden. 
We just woke a slumbering sylvan sprite from a curious nest box surrounded by three rain-soaked birds. Yeah, we've read that. Well, didn't mean to do that. And the girl? Yeah, here we go. Still, wait. This is... This is in the wrong order. Right? This makes sense to be first. I kinda wish I knew more about the Scythians' compelling and epic backstory, because I bet it would make sense of everything. Still, there's something strange about how the Scythian behaved, almost as if she was being controlled by an unseen force. Hi, that's me, hello. That makes more sense to have it in that order, right? So, is it that order? I mean, it's, it's not, is it? I thought it was the other way around. Yeah, like here, let's talk about a set, and then set, and then setting. Makes more sense. I have no idea. This thing is weird. Twitter is weird. I don't get Twitter kids these days. Alright, so now... I think we just have to go over here and awaken the next guy. Perfect. I can pour some tea while this is happening. It's great. I love games that play themselves. Oh, what's that? Is that something? It's shiny here now. Alright, so I guess we'll just sit down. So is it something with a sheep? Just clicking all of them? No. So it's an order? Like there, I clicked all the, the black ones, and then all the white ones? I guess so. Okay, makes sense. I like that, for some reason. Hi, doggy. Apparently this isn't my dog. I think this is uh, Lumber... What was he called? Woodfella? Logfella? Logfella's dog. We just woke a slumbering Sylvan Sprite. From the rich earth of a meadow containing four pairs of w worthless sheep. They're not worthless. You're worthless. Oh, no, stop. So... That's it, is it? Yeah, I think so. Hold on, let's just do this. Nope. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. You can, like, see... Yes, you can click on something here, and you can click on something there, but... I don't know. Yeah, like, wait. I guess this would be that, right? Because when I let go of the key, if there's something to click on, it does this thing. So I guess this is a way to sort of look around the place, but you could just do it normally. Right? I don't know. So now, if I click here, yeah, it's just the bird sculpture. Oh yeah, I guess maybe I should check the Megatome again and check what Dogfella is thinking. Right? Maybe? Yeah, Dogfella has new thoughts. Bark, 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 bark. Bark, sniff, bark. Sometimes I grow wary of barking all the time, but a dog's gotta do what a dog's gotta do what a dog's gotta do do. Great. Bark, bark, bark. Bark, bark, bark. Bark, bark, bark. And girl? I'm just gonna read them top down, I guess. I've been seeing the Scythian sing a song of sorcery and send three sylvan sprites skyward. I wonder if they'll help soothe the, blah, soothe the storm. Whoa, Logfella is freaking out about something. I wonder what's up. I'll just head outside and leave him be for a bit. Okay, so let's talk with the girl. And then we'll check on Logfella. Because he didn't have any new thoughts. The girl stood sheltered from the rain beneath the broad wooden roof of the well. 
she had left the comfort of the hearth in the hut because apparently Logfella was freaking out about something or other. Great. Where'd the dog go? Oh, right there. Hi. Okay. Uh, let's just check again. The Megatome. Yeah, it would say a plus here if new thoughts had arrived, I guess. Yeah, he's not saying anything. Hi, Logfella. The woeful woodsman known as Logfella was totally freaking out about something. Apparently, Logfella had lost the key to the locked door in the stone wall that blocked the old road to Mingi Ta. We were like, what? Oh, we were like, groan, not another fetch quest, am I right? Logfella told us he had been sitting right there by the fire when he had fallen into a deep sleep. Logfella said he thought he had lost his key in the twilight realm of dreams. We had heard about the strange, strange dreams of the dark-haired mountain folk, of the Caucasus, so this made perfect sense to us. God, something about this text in this game, I just cannot read it. Logfella invited us to, a warm, to warm our boots by the fire and dream along with him. Sure. And yeah, you can see the blinking thing means there are new thoughts, which is kind of cool. And now I have to click through all this again. Fantastic. Great. Yep. Yep. Check this. Plus means there's new stuff. Aha! Uh -huh. This guy... Oh, nuts! Where has my key gone? I'm so upset and ashamed, so now I'm totally freaking out! Oh, whoa, I wish it wasn't raining outside. I wish my boots weren't so wet. I wish I could go back to my wood shopping. And three more here. Seek a warm hearth and allow sleep to come discover the threshold... What? Sleep to come to discover the threshold of liminality. The threshold of liminality? Yeah, it is this order. I'm, I'm very confused. The threshold of liminality is a space in between wakefulness and dreams where directed thoughts is impo where directed thought is impossible. We think of wakefulness and the mythopoetic psychocosmology of dreams as separate states. However, they inter interoperate in curious ways. Thanks, archetype. So yeah, we'll go to sleep, I guess. That was quick. And then if I... Yeah, if I do that, I just wake up. But if I sit down and then click the disc or uh, record, I'll enter the land of dreams, I guess. Side A. Oh, side B. And then you switch over into the parallel d dimension of dreams, and that's side B of the record. That's kind of clever. Dream. Yeah, I remember something about this. Oh, yeah, it's only Half Moon now. So, Dark Moon means, uh... What is it called? Crescent Moon? Not Crescent Moon, but like... Is it Dark Moon? the least amount of moon showing. Holy shit, what is that? I observe. Oh, hold on. Let's try this. Ah. Uh. Don't think this is doing anything. Oh god, it did. No. Okay. Hmm. So you have to hold it for a while, but how long? If I just come back now, do they respawn? Because if so, then we can just... Yeah, they do. Then we can just get the achievement right here. Why not? Let's do it.
Nope. How do I know when to let go, though? He's just freaking out. Okay, there we go. So, I just happened to let go of the key at the exact same time as it, like, worked on the other guy? I don't even know. But, let's continue being a horrible person and kill all these logomorphs. There we go. No! No! Damn it! We have inexplicably murdered three defenseless rabbits. Was that because I looked at the thing? Yeah, but I think it was seven that we need for the achievement. Which is horrible, but you gotta do what you gotta do for achievements, right? Sorry, guy. Oh, maybe it stopped singing because I held the cursor over the Scythian, maybe. I don't know. Can I look at these? No. Alright, never mind. Oh, what? He's gone? Oh, no! He's gone! Oh shit, that's bad. Um, I wanted to talk to him or something. What did he do? Maybe he like... Maybe it was because I walked too far down and he like ran away? I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy checking the rabbits. Huh. Well, I guess we'll go with it. I'm not sure if you can miss stuff if there's like a bunch of different alternatives and things. Hmm. Is that it? We have inexplicably murdered seven def defenseless rabbits. Is this evidence of a deranged mind? Oh, wasn't it seven? I'm gonna check. Yeah! Find and somehow slay at least seven Logomorphs. Morphs. But I did. And it's it's not giving the achievement. Why not? Can't look at this. Hmm. That's weird. Well, I guess we'll just continue on and then maybe killing a few more if we find any. So I can go down right or left. Let's go left. Oh, can I kill the deer? I'm a horrible person, I know, but I have to try. Hi. Nope. Deer just runs away, because deer is clever. Maybe you have to... kill different ones? Like, not on the same screen? I don't know. Oh, the mushroom is blinking. I remember some achievement about the mushroom. It said in the, the Steam achievement thing, and I think I got it. I think it's just like you eat the mushroom and then that's it. Nope. Let's just have a look around the screen. Alright. So if it doesn't count the same ones, I've killed five so far, so... Let's go with that, and then kill two more, and if I don't get it then, then I'll just stop killing them, I guess. Hi, Mushroom. Yeah, Mushroom. And then we can eat it. And then things get crazy. And I think we would get an achievement at some point here. Don't exactly remember when. But, yeah, we're just tripping balls. And there were new thoughts. 
Logfella. I sure hope the dreamwalking Scyth Scythian can find my lost key. I lost it on the sandy shore of a placid lake. Is it placid or placid? I'm not sure. I think it's placid. Hi. Guy. Can't look at anything. Oh. That must mean there's a new dude. No, just new thoughts. I've had this little song in my head for ages. Just a few little notes that loop over and over. I wonder what that's about. We can ask him. Hi, guy. In a secluded grove, we met a mysterious fellow hanging out beside a crackling fire. Okay. That's it? Sure. Alright, can we, like, listen to him? We can't explode him, I think. Unfortunately. Hmm. Okay. Well, he's just here. Can't go anywhere else. So I guess we'll go back. Hi. Yeah, it's nice. This game has a lot of downtime. Oh, hi. He's dancing and singing. Can I sing with him? Oh, I can, but he runs away. Okay. Oh, hold on. Let's just... Okay, kill these two last ones. Just to be thorough. And then I won't exterminate any more cute rabbits. But yeah, this game is very... There's a lot of downtime, so there's plenty of time for me to drink tea and stuff, pour tea, drink tea, relax, have fun. It's great. I like that sort of thing. Should we eat more mushrooms? Why not? Actually, let's just pick up a mushroom and have it in our inventory, and then maybe we can use it for something later on. So let's just keep following this bear fellow. It's probably called Bear Fellow or something. And yeah, I have definitely killed at least seven rabbits, seven different rabbits, so I'm not sure why I'm not getting the achievements, but... We'll see. Two of them! Maybe it triggers at some other point, like... After the game is over, it says, you killed this many Logomorphs, and then it gives you the achievements. Maybe? this something? No, that's a tree. What's that? Oh, it's the key! Yay! Nothing happens when we use it. Okay. Oh my god. Is it really this far, or is it just... No. Okay, it was just, like, stuck. Yeah, I should've done that. That looked like I was traveling across the world. For super, super long... Oh, God, hi! Hello! I wonder if I missed an animation, if that was actually intentional, like looking away and then looking back. Let's see if I can just walk. Walk this way. Nope, apparently I can't. What happens if I just leave now, then? Nothing here, if I go back... Cherry's still here. Alright, sure. I bet I'll sit here and then fall asleep, and then I will be in the normal world again. Yep, that's what's happening. Of course. Oh, or maybe this guy's gonna... Like, my reflection's gonna do something. Nope, just back to side A.
Good morning. The woodsman was super relieved that we had managed to ret yeah, retrieve his lost key from the Twilight Realm of Dreams. The woodsman, known as Logfella, wondered how we got so smart, and he asked about our woeful errand. Doesn't he know all about it? He said he knew all about it. We told the woodsman how we had come of, come of age on the steps alongside our fearless Scythian sisters and brothers. We told Logfella why we wandered here in this mountain wilderness, and how we were guided by the finger of an all-knowing god. That's me! Hello! I'm all-knowing. We told Logfella about what we suspected the esoteric markings inside the Megatome might signify. We had a hunch that we needed to summon a few more Sylvan Sprites to soothe the storm. I hate saying soothe the storm, it's really hard. In a hushed whisper, we spoke of our intention to locate and tame a manifestation of cosmic geometry known as the Gold Trigon. It was 100% clear that the woodsman known as Logfella had stopped paying attention. We figured we could just hang on to the key and go for go for a walk on the old road beyond the stone wall. Sure. But hold on, let's let's talk to this guy just one more time, but I think I'm going to end it there for today. Super relieved. Yep. Oh god, not this again, Jesus Christ. I wish there was a skip function. That would be nice. Yes, thank you. Great. All right, there we go. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there for oh what did she do? Flex her muscles? I'm gonna leave it there for today, and we'll continue on next time, going back to the old road for whatever reason. I guess we're looking for more sprites in the old road, maybe? I don't know. But yeah, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!